Hi guys, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Music Week in Reviews. Each week I take five releases, albums or singles, and after having listened to them all week, I come back here and I review them. I share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get to this week's first release. Toby Mac and Terrian's Christmas single, All I Need for Christmas. Christmas single, All I... Toby Mac and Terrian, I should say. New Christmas single, All I Need for Christmas. Definitely is a feel-good Christmas pop song, I mean, with the way the acoustic guitar, the bass, and the piano is structured. It definitely has a feel-good feel to it. As for lyrics here, very nice lyrics. They talk about how they don't need any anything else but having their loved ones right next to them. For Christmas to celebrate Jesus' birth, the birth of our Savior. Up next, Jars of Clay and Shell's new collaborative Christmas EP, A Family Christmas EP. Jars of Clay and Shell's new collaborative Christmas EP, A Family Christmas. Oh, and by the way, before I get too far, let's also mention that this is the first substantial length of new Jars of Clay music in like six years or so. So nice to have them back again. Um as for the sound though, it's a little different from Jars of Clay's first Christmas, I would say. Of course we have Shell as the other band on this album. It definitely has a folk feel to it overall, kind of a very old fashioned folk feel with the acoustic guitar and violin I mean in particular. On a personal note, I mean, for my personal listening, I might slightly prefer the older alternative rock original Jars of Clay Christmas, full-length Christmas album, but, but this is good too, in its own right. As for the lyrics here, a couple songs celebrate the fact that Jesus is born on Christmas, but then there's a lot of songs, quite a few songs here. That talk about the wonderful feeling of being together for the holidays. Up next, Danny Goki's new Christmas album, The Greatest Gift, a Christmas Collection. Danny Goki's new Christmas album, The Greatest Gift, a Christmas Collection, I would say it definitely has a very typical contemporary pop Christmas feel to it. A lot of it is softer with the piano, I would say. But when you throw the electric guitar in on a couple of songs, they can make for a couple really energetic, fun pop moments, I would say. Particularly with The Holidays Are Here is one that particularly stands out here. As for the lyrics here, they talk about... They cry out in praise for the fact that Jesus is born. But also on a couple of songs, they talk about enjoying being together with the ones you love at Christmas. And also, too... Talks about just the general joys of this Christmas season. Up next, Jamie Grace's new Christmas single. Jamie Grace's new Christmas single, The Story, Noel, has a very relaxed feel to it, I would say, with the acoustic guitar and drum, I would say. And as for the lyrics... Pretty nice lyrics here. She talks about when she first heard the Christmas story and how the proof to believing it is the change that Jesus has made in her. And oh, by the way, before I move on to our final artist, Ryan Stevenson, I should probably just take a second to let you know that she will be putting out a new single each month of next year. So a lot of new Jamie Grace to look forward to. Just wanted to let you know. And now on to Ryan Stevenson, of course, with his double Christmas single, his new one, Home for Christmas, and then his past song, This Christmas Eve. Ryan Stevenson's double Christmas single featuring his new Christmas song, Home for Christmas, and then his past song, This Christmas Eve. I would say Home for Christmas is definitely got an energetic kind of pop rock sound maybe kind of to it 
And also, this Christmas Eve kind of does too. Both very upbeat tracks. <laughs> As for the lyrics here, Home for Christmas talks about how he's coming home for Christmas Day. And this Christmas Eve talks about how all he needs is his girl right by him for this Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas with Christmas coming up on Wednesday. However, I will still have one more Christmas episode coming out next Friday. So, please be sure to check that out if you are interested in hearing about Christmas music still a couple days after the fact. Also, if you like what you saw in this video, please press the subscribe button. Give my business page a like on Facebook. I'll leave that in the description. And also, if you have any thoughts about these releases I reviewed today, please leave that in the comments below. Also, if you have any Christmas releases, last minute Christmas requests, this will be your last chance. So, if you have any last minute Christmas requests for me, please be sure to leave that in the comments below. And also, if you have any regular release that you want me to review after this last Christmas episode is passed, please let me know that in the comments below too. Well, I'll go now. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye.